Now, let's get started with an overview of the biological and behavioral changes associated with psychiatric disease. The intelligence quotient, or IQ, can be measured using tests that include the Stanford Binet and Wechsler tests. In the Wechsler Adult Intelligence Scale, the mean is defined as 100 with a standard deviation of 15. An IQ less than 70 is one criteria for diagnosing mental retardation, and less than 40 is severe mental retardation. It is important to note that IQ tests are objective, not projective, tests. Psychology is the study of human behaviors. A widely studied type of behavior is conditioning, which is a type of associative learning. Two types of conditioning are classical conditioning, in which the patient learns a specific behavior or physiological response to a specific stimulus. This is the classic example of Pavlov's dog learning to salivate in response to a bell ringing. The second type is operant conditioning. This is learning in which a specific response is elicited because the patient learns it is associated with a reward or punishment. Operant conditioning may be positive or negative reinforcement or even punishment. Reinforcement schedules dictate how quickly a behavior is learned or lost. When reinforcement is continuous, behavior tends to change quickly, while variability in the reinforcement schedule slows the rate of change. Much of psychology is based in the structural theory of the mind, as first described by Freud. According to Freud, there are three structures of the mind. The first is the id, which comprises the basal, primal urges such as sex and aggression. Think of id as the instincts of what I want. The second structure is ego. The ego is the mediator between the id and external world, resisting the urges of the id. The third is superego. Superego comprises higher social behaviors such as moral values and conscience. The topographic theory of the mind is similar to Freud's structural theory in its presumption of three layers of consciousness. They are the conscious, which is what you are aware of, the pre-conscious, consciousness that requires focused effort such as retrieving previously memorized information, and the unconscious, the portion of the mind you are not aware of that may drive specific behaviors. Ego defenses are automatic, unconscious reactions to psychological situations that are designed to protect a person's ego and are divided into immature and mature responses. Immature defenses include acting out, dissociation, denial, regression, repression, and rationalization. Mature ego defenses are less primitive responses and include behaviors such as altruism, humor, sublimation, and suppression.